Hello, my name is Mikhail and I'm a mentor in the Unreal 5 course of Architeach Graphics School. In this video I would like to tell you about the Nanite technology that appeared in Unreal Engine 5. This is truly a breakthrough technology that gives us a number of advantages. Most importantly, highly detailed models are no longer a problem for Unreal Engine 5. The night can render tens even hundreds of millions of polygons without significant performance losses. I will now show you how it works. And it's really easy to use. To demonstrate Nanite technology, I have prepared this model. This is a sofa that has a beautiful geometry. But in order to convey this beauty, we need to maintain high level of detail. Now the model has a total of 847,000 of polygons. But we'll have to increase this amount because the mesh has angularity. The number of polygons in the sofa has immediately increased to 4.5 million. Let's try increasing the cushions detailing as well. Now we have a total of 8.5 million polygons. Which is quite a lot, so it will be a problem for Unreal Engine 5. But fortunately, we have Nanite to help us work with that. I've prepared a scene like this, in which I've already moved the sofa model. As we can see, one such model doesn't cause many problems for Unreal. Frame rate is kept at quite a high level and is limited by the program's settings. But the main problem starts when there are more and more models with tight geometry. Let's make some copies of the sofa and see what we get. Now we have 9 sofas, which ends up to a total of about 76 million polygons. And we see how the frame rate has dropped. That is, the system is loaded enough. Even my 3090 graphics card can cope with so much geometry. This is where Nanite technology comes in. In order to enable Nanite for our geometry, we need to select it in the content browser. Right click, select Nanite and click Enable. Geometry changed to Nanite and as we see, the frame rate is high again. Now such a number of polygons is not a problem for our scene. Just as easily as we turn it on, we can turn it off. Select the night and click Disable. That's it. The geometry is back to its original state. And as we can see, the frame rate has dropped again. You can also enable the night for an object in its settings. Open the settings for the object. Here we can see the statistics for this object. Now the sofa has 4.5 million polygons. The night option. Let's turn it on. And now we see that the geometry is optimized to 2. You can also enable Nanite when importing a model into a scene. Add in a model. And all we have to do is check the Build Nanite checkbox. Click Import. That's it, the model is added. And as we can see, the night is already enabled, the model is already optimized. Now, I'm going to tell you about some of the settings that the night has. If we move the sofa to a position where the light from the window falls on it, we can see that some artifacts are present. How can we deal with them? Open the object settings. In the night section, we have such a setting as proxy triangle percent. This setting means the percentage by which the geometry is optimized. The default is zero, which is the highest optimization. But we can also set manually, for example, 5%. Click Apply. And we can see 
that the number of polygons has increased to 229,000. Let's see how it has affected the model. As you can see, there are fewer artifacts. Let's try to increase it more. Let's set it at 10%. And now we have everything displayed correctly. There is also one more setting, called Position Precision. This setting indicates at what distance from some object the highest level of detail will be displayed. The Auto option works quite correctly. Now I will demonstrate how the Nanite works with another model. Let's take a chair like this. It has an even more detailed geometry. We're seeing that it has a total of 11 million polygons. But we can't optimize it too much, otherwise we'll lose the detailing we'd like to keep. Let's see how Nanite can help us with this. I've already added this chair to Unreal, and as we can see, Unreal can basically cope with this amount of geometry. There are 11.5 million polygons. But what happens if there are a lot of such models? Now we have as many as 35 models with 11.5 million polygons each. We can see how much the frame rate has dropped since there are as many as 400 million polygons in our scene. Sure, it's impossible to work with such a heavy workload, but fortunately we have Nanite. See how it can help us. Select in models, click to enable Nanite. And the miracles happen. We have the frame rate again at the highest level. And there are no freezes. Now Unreal can work perfectly with so much geometry. I also want to tell you about some of the limitations that Nanite technology has. And the first is that Nanite doesn't support transparent and translucent materials. If we try to apply the glass material to the cushion, we see that it doesn't work because this type of material is not supported. Let's open the material settings and see what other material options are not supported by the night. Also among the limitations, as such options as wall position offset and pixel depth offset. And if you apply any values to these options, the material will be displayed in black. These options are not supported. The Nanite technology also works exclusively with materials that have the blend mode settings set to opaque. Other options like translucent and masked are not supported by Nanite technology. I also want to mention how we can see which objects have Nanite technology applied to them. If we set the wireframe displayed mode on, we'll see that the sofa is not displayed. Thus, we can see that Nanite has been applied to it. There is also a special display mode, the Nanite visualization. And here, we can see the different modes of displaying objects on which the Nanite technology has been applied. In conclusion, Nanite technology gives us a great opportunity to work with highly detailed geometry without spending a lot of time optimizing our models. Thanks for watching.